Hello, I'm Andrew Lewis, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 with the Together for Victory DLC, playing as Australian People's Republic. We're having fun right now. And by fun, I mean we've actually managed to take back Moscow. We've taken back a whole gigantic chunk of land down here uh, after Turkey fell. And hopefully, we'll be able to free up some units to actually help with the push, which is going to be a minor push. Just grab this bit of land here. Encircle here and then crush here, and that'll be it. That's the plan. That said, we will need to take out this naval base. If we don't take out this naval base with the push, they will escape by sea. That's why the encirclement, we have to take the naval base at all costs. We're also almost up to our first nuke, not what we'll be using it for our. Oh, hello! Uh, Army experience is maxed out. I did not notice that. It's probably there for a while. Um, uh, ooh, I don't know. What do we do? You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Mm -hmm. Guess we make a upgrade for one of our tanks. It's a Mark Three, so oh, sorry, it's a Mark One. Excellent. Okay, we can upgrade this. Reliability, we don't actually need to increase because uh, the rely the maintenance thing we've added to it, the support thing, is like plus twenty five. So we can actually go down to about seventy five percent and still have hundred percent reliability because of the uh, maintenance add on. So. Upgrade the main gun. Keep the max speed up. Add some armor. Add some attack. Yeah, that's good. We'll go with that. And then we want to replace that. There we go. Yeah, we need a thousand of them. That's not going to be too much trouble, is it? Okay. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Oh, hello. That would be the boomerang, which is a bonus to the next close air support, I think. Either way, we're not doing another one because we need the political power to increase our manpower limit. Capturing the last pockets of resistance. It's looking very dubious around Moscow. But if we get a force up here, that should take a lot of the weight off. Come on. Just take this one and I'll be happy to move you. Come on! There we go! Ugh. Oh, right, okay. I'll leave you to do your thing. Here's the front line. And then I want to spearhead up to here. Right. Units we are not selecting to go with us. Okay, maybe we can do this in reverse. I don't know if there's, there's not an invert button, is there? Aha, right. And you. Those eight motorized are going to be very useful. Meanwhile, you're pushing in like that. You should push in like that. You're doing that, and you're doing that. Oh, except for you. Definitely want you on Sevastopol. Or defending the strait. I don't actually want to attack it just yet. I need more troops for that. Meanwhile, around Moscow. Our units are dangerously drained right now. Once you're done, bam, what I think we'll do is we'll move them up to here 
and we'll then push in and try and grab Sevastopol. I did say I wouldn't do that for a while, but I lied. Uh, oh, that's a lot of units. Moscow is looking very precarious right now. Leaving one of our allies cut off. I don't like doing that. Okay, how are the units moving up? They're getting there. The sooner they get there, the better. We need that support. Go for the push if you can. I know it's early days, most units aren't there on that frontier, but try it. Right, you're going to their support, that's fine. Ooh, manpower, we can do the manpower thing. Quickly. Scraping the barrel. There we go, half a million. And we have a nuke. Not that they'll do much good, we don't have anyone to drop it on right now. Heading over to Sevastopol. Oh, they are sending an extra unit. They know something's up. That one, right. When you're done, turn that. Okay. New national focus. Um, air doctrine bonus? Eh. Strategic bomber? Eh. Lot of bonuses for air doctrines, not much else. Naval bomber is not terrible, actually. Radar. I'll go there. Ah, we were trying to uh, make Fre Finland like comments, weren't we? Yeah. We could maybe stage a coup. That said, that'd be dangerous considering the Soviet Union doesn't have much next to it. And if the Soviet Union allied with the bit of Finland that went communist and then the other bit instantly went to the fascists, it would be, it'd be iffy. Excavation 3, lovely. Food cent discount on fighter. Don't mind if I do. Yep, they're sending more reinforcements this way. We'll have to see how this one goes and plays out. But we're definitely going to have to have a uh, offensive line, sorry, front line. No, there. For God's sake. There. There. Yes, that works, right. And then, offensive line. No! Why? Why would you even think such a thing? Thank you. And we did it again. Once this is done though, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it because that won't put a frontier there by default. No, 
No, I don't need anyone down here. Go up here. We've got enough support. Thank you. Why have I got... Oh my god. All of the units I think have been assigned down here. Oh dear. All but two. Okay, let's go over this again. You are the ones who do this. Only you, no one else. It's not a hard concept. This will kill off this unit permanently. Right, there we go. Come on. Come on. Right. Set up a fallback line here. Put two infantry on it, and that's it. Sevastopol will probably help quite a lot in this one. I really wish I could see their numbers. We've got Yaroslav still. Soviet Union is at 72% towards capitulation. It's going well. Why, why are you going this way? Has something happened over here? No, nothing's happened over here, but you're sending units this way anyway. Oh, for God's sake. I can't keep this up forever. I don't have enough manpower. Red, stop pushing. Can't afford it. Purple. Well, you have to push that one. That's Moscow. Oh, we got the kangaroo. No, I'm not going to get you uh, for carrier just yet. I want important things to get. Like being able to dig in. That'd be lovely. Okay. Maybe we can rest now. Even though I kind of want to do this push. Maybe we should rest. I'm thinking yes. Right now, we just need to get our resources back. Nice, calm, chill. Hopefully the Allies will lose some troops or something. I don't know. Let's get check the Ally losses. 2.77 million. Allies have lost. No, no one on the Allies has lost a million. Greece has lost over half. Honestly, that is pretty disappointing. Pretty, pretty massively disappointing. Uh, Italy's lost 1.5. Nash of Spain, a 0.5. Japan, in total, between all the wars, has lost about 0.5. We should really start producing some street bombers just to be able to get our uh, war score up. I hate that, but it has to be done. One less naval bomber. Oh, I'm building strategic bombs already. There we go. I guess we should deploy them. What's the most forward airfield we have? That's not ridiculously inundated. Mamansk? You'll do. Right, all 65. Start bombing Russian territory. Former Russian territory. 
Yay! Well, I've only got one unit here. I asked for two. Swear I asked for two. Okay. We fought them to a bit of a standstill. Not really a full standstill considering this, but eh. Now, there's nothing more we can do. If we push, we will run out of manpower. We have to hope the allies will do something for once in their lives. I've, I've already pulled off the impossible. I can't pull off the impossible again. Oh, ho, 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 ho! Okay, uh, defending as we are then. Nope, stop that, for God's sake. Why are you not assigned to here? I thought I assigned you. Did I misclick or something? I don't know, but it's too much for me to handle right now. Improved infantry equipment. Lovely. Land night attack. Sure, we'll go for that. We need to get close enough to be able to drop a bomb on Berlin. Who will do that? Sweden? If you were communist, you need to be communist, Sweden. I could, I could drop bombs on Berlin. Wouldn't be enough. The important thing is we still hold Moscow. At the moment. You never know how things are going to change. But I would like to have a three-fort facility. Which I could totally nuke right now. The nuke button is there, sort of tempting me. No, I do not want to attack from over there! Why? Why every time? Oh God. Makes me want to murder something. Right. Shift click, then click the desired. Oh, there we go. It's working now. I don't know why you're attacking here. You can't actually win. Uh, maybe. Whatever. Now we lost Kalanin. Ten victory points worth of Kalanin. Still 72% on there, though. Which is fine. Blackburn Rock. Lovely. I'll upgrade our carrier there. Could upgrade to the Barracuda. We'll need to get every construction speed off we can get. I'm going to go for construction speed. We should also... Oh, hello. I should also check our navy. We do not have ourselves a carrier yet. Few destroyer Mark III, still a lot of the ones though, and the ones are pretty useless. Um, when are we expecting our first carrier? Because once that happens, we might be able to actually go out and do something. Almost there. 8th of May. Okay. Looks like Germany is grinding to a halt. Sort of. This is worth 10 victory points. Let's grab it. Stalin is worth 10 victory points. Let's grab that as well. 
can also grab the airfield while you're there. What about this? Five, Kursk. Aurel and Bryansk. Go for it. Right, we're holding now. Feels a lot better. The allies are pushing back. That is a good sign. And the Germans have pulled away from here. I don't know what they're doing. They're planning something. I don't like that. We've saved Russia so far. However, we've just spent 110,000 men to do that. We can't keep doing this. We have, at best, about three episodes left at this pace. And at this pace, not the pace of the last few episodes. And this episode, we weren't doing a lot of attacking. It's going to be tough. I frankly don't know how we're going to do it. I'll be honest. I don't know how we're going to manage this. But dear God, we can try. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if you think we're actually going to make it or not in terms of manpower. But until next time, stay shiny.